Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I wanted to address a little bit of what I talked about yesterday. And yesterday I was talking a lot about uh, the changes that happen in the prefrontal cortex, why we rest after an adjustment because of the neurological change that we have. And I wanted to follow up on that by talking about a study that was recently done. It was done in 2015 by a bunch of uh, Danish scientists. And these scientists measured the adjustment both before an adjustment and after an adjustment. And not only that, they did it with both real adjustments and sham adjustments. And what they found, and what I was alluding to in yesterday's video, was 20% of the change, that 20% improvement I talked about, happens in the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex, as you docs well know, is in charge of all executive functions. The processing of pain, higher cognitive thought, also too, even body motions, sensory motor processing. And when we're in this high brain, we promote life. And so what I want you guys to do today is address with your patients and just ask them this simple question. What is the biggest area that is affected when we adjust the spine? And I'm sure the answers that you're gonna get are your neck, your looser, your lower back, all those types of things, biomechanics. We don't wanna focus on that because the biggest change that we have is snapping us out of our hindbrain, that lizard brain that we talk about, that reptilian brain, and switching it to that higher cognitive function. We don't adjust people so we can balance their hips. We do it so we can enhance their life. And the biggest change in the body comes in the prefrontal cortex. So big props to any of your patients who say the brain is where the biggest change happens, but let's make sure we hammer this home with our patients today. Hope you have a great Tuesday. See ya.